of today's news. CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I'm Monica Ricks. We are following breaking news out of New York City. A jury has reportedly reached a verdict in Donald Trump's historic criminal trial. CBS's Matt Piper just ran out of the courtroom to tell us what's next. The jury has asked for about 30 minutes to fill out some forms ahead of the actual reading of this verdict. And the court has said that they were going to be giving us at least an hour or so for this area to get ready. There needs to be a huge police presence all over these streets in lower manhattan trump faces 34 felony charges and possible prison time if he is convicted today in idaho another verdict for chad daybell is chad guy daybell not guilty or guilty of conspiracy to commit first degree murder of tylee ryan and grand theft by deception guilty daybell convicted of murdering his wife's two children back in 2019 as well as his previous wife he's also guilty of insurance fraud Prosecutors will meet soon to discuss a sentencing date, but reportedly plan to seek the death penalty. The FBI is looking into a possible data breach against Ticketmaster after an Aussie hacking group claimed it's selling stolen data on half a billion customers. Sarah Navins with 10 News First Australia. Cybersecurity experts warn against logging back into Ticketmaster to change details, saying hackers could still be in the system and can then steal your new information. Two residents in California also filed a proposed class action lawsuit against Ticketmaster today. They say the company didn't do enough to safeguard their information. President Biden has partially lifted a ban against Ukraine now using U.S. arms inside Russian territory. CBS's Linda Kenyon explains. The move is a big change in U.S. policy. It would allow Ukraine to use U.S. arms to defend the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv. This move would allow such firepower only in limited circumstances and for tactical reasons, as Ukraine continues to try to defend its second largest city. The FAA says Boeing is putting a new plan in motion now to fix safety issues. Administrator Mike Whitaker. I made it clear to Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun and other senior leaders that this plan does not mark the end of our increased oversight of Boeing and its suppliers, but the beginning of the next chapter. Part of Boeing's plan reportedly includes stronger oversight and more employee training. And recapping our top story this hour, we are standing by for a verdict that's been reached in former President Trump's criminal trial in New York. This follows just two days of deliberation. The court's now making sure everyone is in place in and outside of the courtroom to manage potential security concerns. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 71 degrees in Berkeley, California.